morning everybody. So as we all know, the sepsis 3 definition is basically sepsis is a life-threatening infection leading to organ dysfunction because of dysregulated host response. This means that basically there is a serious infection which uh, spreads to other parts of the body, leads to multi-organ dysfunction because of probably vasoplegia and microcirculatory disturbances and ultimately leads to organ dysfunction if not adequately supported can lead to very high incidence of mobility and mortality. Now it also includes this regulated host response that means basically if you look at the biochemical pattern in sepsis initially when there is infection uh, inflammatory pro-inflammatory cytokines are released and later on uh, uh, the body tries to balance it with uh, release of anti-inflammatory cytokines. If these two balance each other, sepsis comes under control. If it does not, then because pro-inflammatory cytokines are excessive, they produce vasoplegia, they produce capillary leak, they produce microcirculatory disturbances, uh, the coagulation cascade is activated, microthrombi are formed, organ dysfunction happens and ultimately leads to organ uh, failure. And the patient obviously requires hospitalization and intensive care admission. Over the last several decades, despite the major advances in medical knowledge, medical therapy, newer antibiotics, organ support systems, SOPs, and better staff support, the mortality has come down, although a little bit, but still remains significantly high worldwide. It remains 30 to 40 percent in severe sepsis all over the world and obviously in the developing countries like India it remains much higher than this. In addition to the problems which we already have of infrastructure and staffing of management of uh, severe sepsis, we also have a massive problem of misuse of antibiotics in the, in the periphery and this leads to antimicrobial resistance. India remains the leader of uh, uh, antimicrobial resistance AMR organisms and therefore unless we have adequate control on this and adequate restraint and we have antibiotic stewardship programs with improvement in the environmental uh, material status, we will continue to uh, get into trouble. The estimates are that by 2050, sepsis will kill more patients than heart attack and strokes put together. So unless we tighten our belt and improve things, we are not looking at a very bright future regarding management of sepsis. As clinicians, we also have to realize that hospitalization, intensive care admissions and administration of antifungals and antibiotics leads to additional significant cost to the family. Many, many patients in India go below the poverty line just by one illness and we all realize that. Therefore, inappropriate, unnecessary administration of antibiotics should be curtailed. We should be guided by the, your antibiograms and by the current guidelines, um, the, uh, international guidelines or CDC, IDSA as well as ICMR. Every hospital must have their own antibiograms and you treat the antimicrobial uh, infections accordingly and not rampantly with very broad spectrum unnecessarily prolonged antibiotic therapy. Because it has been shown, the longer the antibiotic therapy, more the mortality and more the AMR in your own environment. So you are not only killing your own environment, but you also may be contributing to killing the patients. So I think we have to be sensible about all this and we have to get a, act together. Uh, public health is another issue where the, obviously the governments will have to play a significant role. So do not prescribe antibiotics unnecessarily unless there is a significant evidence of patient having bacterial sepsis. Do not give it for longer than what is necessary. And once you have your cultures, please de-escalate. In de-escalation, you can be guided by procalcitonin and other biomarkers are coming into uh, the move uh, very soon. So, guided by these uh, 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 chemical, biochemical parameters, uh, one should be able to restrain your unnecessary use of antibiotics and reduce your AMR and reduce the morbidity and mortality to your patients. So, this is the least we can do for our patients. 
So let's take a pledge that we will not use unnecessarily prolonged antibiotics. We will try to preserve uh, the environment by uh, uh, curtailing our, our use of antibiotics using only appropriate, timely and correct duration antibiotics to improve our environment and improve the care of our patients. Thank you.